Hello, welcome back. We've just started part three of our day together. Now, I've designed our day really to save the best for last, only because you've really needed everything else that's come before so that the breakthroughs we're heading into would make sense to you. Now, there are three segments to this third part of our program. First is super body, second is super emotions, and the third is super mind. Now, as far as the super body goes, you are a magnificent and unlimited being living in the limits of a three-dimensional body. So it's really common to feel the limits of that limitation. So for example, energy issues, you know, do you get tired? Do you fatigue easily? No get up and go? Do you ever feel overwhelmed? How about health issues? Illnesses, allergies, weight problems, sleep problems, poor nutrition or eating habits? How about substance issues like smoking, drugs, alcohol? Whatever's going on with us in terms of our body, we always have our reasons. You know, we can justify and we can make excuses for what's happening. We could say, well, you know, exercise, I'm gonna get to it later. I'm really too busy to handle this issue right now. I've, I'm gonna settle for what I've got. It's not so bad after all, or it's, everyone in my family's got this. It's just the way we are. I'm no different than any of them. I don't have any willpower. I've tried it. I tried the fix, and the one time I tried it, nothing happened, it didn't work. So, you know, when it comes to really harnessing the power of your non-conscious resources, we really recognize that most of what it is that we're attempting to accomplish is going to be handled almost without effort. So, it's key around physical issues around the body to really get the superpowers of your super body is you have to let your non-conscious mind resources come in to support us. If we're in there trying to control everything that's going on, we're gonna have a tendency to over control, not let go, not let the support that's given us really take, uh, po take us in a positive direction. I'll give you an example, just your breathing. Every time we do a little drop in, I have you notice your breathing. You've been breathing this whole time, haven't noticed it about your heartbeat. Breathing, heartbeat, this is all miraculous stuff. The magnificence of your human body is a gift that's given you. And how you use it, how you treat it, how you make the most of it can really be facilitated once you have harnessed that power of your non-conscious mind. I wanna show you the easiest way to do this is what we call the 10 minute supercharger. So Pete asked you to get your headphones ready. This is a time to plug it in. We're gonna play the 10 minute supercharger for you. You get a good refresh of energy. You'll feel great as soon as we're done. We'll pick it up from there. Sit back, put on your headphones and enjoy. This is Paul Sheely for Learning Strategies in Minneapolis. You're listening to the 10-Minute Supercharger Paraliminal. As you listen to this session and the sound of my voice, you can adjust your body for relaxing and know, really know that for the next few minutes, you can let the world around you take care of itself. You can have your eyes look at a spot on the ceiling or wall, a place to gaze at for a few moments. Notice some one spot that you can bring your attention to just for relaxing a bit more comfortably. And your attention can begin to notice the position of your body, the feeling beneath you, of the surface that you're resting on, the experience of your hands and arms resting while you enter a comfortably safe time for tranquility. And your attention can begin to notice 
the movement of your breathing, how your abdomen and chest move, and the feeling of the breath flowing in and out of your nostrils as you really begin to let go for relaxing. Your eyes can even close when you're good and ready to move into a more inner awareness. And it's just as easy to learn with your eyes closed and relaxing peacefully. And your attention can notice the space your body is occupying and feel your awareness expanding into this present moment. While you can let outside sounds that are unimportant carry you more deeply into comfortable feelings of refreshment and your attention now focusing more within creates an inner place to really enjoy relaxing into all the while that you continue to follow along to the sound of comfort allowing pleasant relaxing feelings of rest to spread throughout your entire body, every nerve and fiber of your entire being from head to toe. Even as I count, you can let your mind wander and you can know that just as when you dream, your mind can wander from place to place with a purpose your inner mind maintains and your inner mind can take you to a place just as near or as far away as you like to be when you really enjoy relaxing. With each number going a little bit closer to the most pleasant experience of comfort you've enjoyed for quite some time. Five and you can begin to see with inner eyes a relaxing place of ease and comfort. Four, like a meadow with a stream running through it, your calm mind has a stream of awareness carrying you to restful energy. Three, and there in the meadow is the source of the stream, a clear pool, a spring flowing with cool, clean water from deep, deep within the earth. Two, more completely enjoying the relaxing feeling of knowing you are arriving at a place of healing within you, a place from where your energies flow. One, flowing from this perfect source, the stream meanders comfortably down at a relaxing pace, all the way down. And as this stream flows into a reservoir, you have the ability to notice there is a reservoir of energy more about yourself that you draw your abilities to respond to life, your environment, the you energy stored, your mind's ability in to think this clearly. reservoir. You replenish your body's ability to respond, lets you adapt to an ever-changing life. You replenish your emotions. It is energy with feelings that is power. used each and every time. Self-confidence. You must draw upon yourself and a deep sense of skillfully handle living your life. You do feel good in the ways you do. You feel more It is a more wonderfully refreshed. reassuring thought as you go about your day to know that the abundance of energy you notice the power you have available is to you. infinite to choose and always totally available to you to act whenever you want or need it to succeed as you relax comfortably whenever you choose in this way 
And as you relax, you are filling your reservoir, communicating within with the natural and abundant helps you become more effective. You need in all to live a success-filled and happy life. And as you listen, even as the sound of my voice is speaking more creatively, you are already replenishing the energies within you. Your vital reservoir of energy to fill you of power. power and calmness and you can carry the calmness with refreshing feelings and refreshing feelings and self confidence with you into your life from deep within you using the energy you've gained you carry the calmness in with a positive and productive way. And as you relax deeper, I'll be silent for a few moments. Your body and mind are restored. As your body is restored with energy to a perfect health and energy refreshed to take care of all that is necessary and revitalize at an ideal rate. While you enjoy the good feelings of rest, enjoying these good feelings, you have received the vital refreshing energy receiving it, vitality you and desire. even as you listen, listen, the good feelings continue you find. You may wish to maintain good these good feelings, feelings inside as you return. And as you to a return, more outer directed state, you begin to realize the wonderful healing calmness, the calmness that comes with it. this process of rest, carrying this calmness and the marvelous experience you of letting the body heal itself in its own perfect into way. Your life can be repeated by you Use as often as you like within you whenever you want or productively need to. in many you ways you are in charge as i count forward from 1 to 5 you can feel yourself reorienting to the world around you with a renewed sense of energy and perhaps a positive expectation of how you can create the success you desire. 1. Feeling wonderful, returning fully refreshed, and coming back to this time and place with each breath you take. 2. One more step up to full alertness, having had a pleasant rest with restoring energies, and the healing calmness and power that fills you can deepen and grow every time you listen to this session. Three, all of your natural bodily functions in a perfect rhythm and harmony. As you gently open your eyes, it's nice to know that you can feel good and alert as you continue to come back here with a renewed sense of energy. Four, feeling great, arriving in an easy way so refreshed you are in charge of your body your mind and your feelings now with your eyes open as you reorient to your immediate surroundings and feel wide awake and now five feeling wonderful ready to go welcome back Welcome back. Wasn't that awesome? You know, you might be in a pretty relaxed way right now. It's great. Just enjoy it. While we're here, I want to explain to you that this particular session was designed to help busy executives. And you have a big day. You want to transition into some 
time at home. This, ex this one executive I first designed this for called it his buffer zone transition recording. <laughs> and it's a great way to recharge, to set the day aside, let your non-conscious mind handle all the problems and new information you've got, and really put into power, put into play the resources that can support you. Now, I have to tell you the 10 minute supercharger has probably saved my life more than anything else. It's fabulous and here's somebody that talks about the effect that it had on him. Go to a gas station and the majority of the products you see, some type of energy gum, caffeine, caffeine coated almonds, energy drinks, candy, you've got tobacco, you've got all of these things. Even they serve beer now made like an energy drink. Everybody's looking for that type of solution and it's all a quick fix. I enjoy having a cup of coffee in the morning, but I don't need it throughout the day. I used to need coffee all the time, constantly stopping at a coffee shop, whatever. Number one, it gets extremely expensive to do that. Number two, as far as health, I don't think it's the best solution. But the 10 minute supercharger is my extreme power nap throughout the day. I pop that thing in and it just seems like I had a great nap, a great, great nap. I wake up with all that great feeling. I remember that when I get exhausted during the day or if I am exhausted, I wake up with that feeling of, ah, I just did something I really needed. That just feels amazing. And I'm ready to tackle anything. I'm recharged, I'm refreshed, my mind is clear. It's like my mind got a nap that I needed for that refresher. I just feel like I just started fresh again. I woke up, I'm ready to go. It's a great, great session. Well, that idea of being able to do a power nap of some kind is something that I realize as a father, as a husband, as a business executive, and when I was going to get my master's degree, I had two little children at home at the time, I had a lot going on. And when I say the 10 minute supercharger saved my life, I really have to tell you it's fabulous. Same thing, uh, you know, if, you, if you're going to school, you're a returning adult student, you've got your work day and now you're gonna do your studying. Wow, this is the perfect transition into a clear mind can really get you focused to do what needs to be done. It's the power of your body, but it's just being amplified, brought forward as a result of this paraliminal recording. And short, it's the shortest one we have. The longest one we have is called deep relaxation. Now, the deep relaxation recording is a great one to use at the end of the day. It's a super way to go to bed at night. Deep relaxation was when I, I used to play paraliminals when I first developed them. And my son, who was I think about eight or nine at the time, said, Dad, can you do a paraliminal that doesn't wake me up at the end? Because at the end you say you're wide awake, alert and refreshed, and now I'm laying in bed and I'm all awake. I said, great idea. <laughs> so the very next one I produced was the deep relaxation. So at the end, it just guides you to decide, are you going to go to sleep? Or are you gonna wake up? It's your choice. Very nice. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't know about. It's actually better to go to sleep rested than to go to bed exhausted. If you go to bed exhausted, you know those kinds of times where you lay down in bed and you just boom, you're out, and you feel wiped out? Usually the sleep is harder that way. It doesn't sleep as restfully the body doesn't sleep as restfully when you're completely exhausted when you go to bed. But if you do a little exercise, if you listen to this and go into sleep rested, wow, the sleep time is far more powerful, far more effective. My mother, who's 91 years old at the time I'm talking to you right now, was mentioning that she was having a hard time sleeping. And I said, well, mom, are you listening to your and, or to your deep relaxation paraliminal, she went, no, I didn't think of that. So she got it out and I called her back. I said, so mom, how's your sleep going? Oh, 
fantastic. I sleep like a baby all night long. She said, I have my deep relaxation right next to my bed. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, I just turn that thing on and I sleep right through. It's just great. So realize, you know, sometimes whatever's going on in our life might interrupt our sleep pattern. This works great. Now, deep relaxation is also work for people going through childbirth, childbirth, through medical and dental procedures. Fabulous. If you're going on a big airline trip and you're going many time zones, fabulous. Put in your earbuds or listen in your headphones. Listen to deep relaxation. Use the time that you're in there. You don't even have to fall asleep. The fact that that deep relaxation is playing is going to give you a full refresh. And if you've ever had an issue of dealing with jet lag, this is going to help you out tremendously as well because it resets your body, resets your mind, and gets you into that energy field that your body is capable of generating for you. There's another one related to sleep called Sleep Deeply, Wake Refreshed. Now this is one that's especially good to use when, for whatever reason, if you have a tendency to awaken in the middle of the night, this one really works great. And deep relaxation is uh, kind of a big and pervasive way of using things, but if you know you actually have a sleep problem per se, Sleep deeply is a great way because it shows you how to transition into sleep. Have you ever thought about that? Do you know how you fall asleep? What's really interesting, and I've studied this for years and years, I, I ask people, describe to me how you go to sleep. Nobody can do it because at some point, well, I lay down, well, then I do this, and then I do this, and then I'm asleep. Well, how did that happen? No explanation. Why? It's the same problem or paradox of where does the north wind blow from? Well, obviously the north wind blows from the north. No, it doesn't. It's actually a low pressure system in the south, a high pressure system in the north, and this body, this air mass in the north is pulled into that low pressure system. So it doesn't blow, like get pushed, it actually is drawn. It's pulled there. Same thing with sleep. You create the environment. You create the, the conditions in which you are naturally drawn into that sleep. How do most of us who are troubled with sleep run it? Finally we get to bed. We're completely exhausted. But now is the first quiet time that we have during the day. So what do we do? We start thinking, how am I going to solve this problem? What's going to happen? And we just loop and loop and loop. After about 30 or 45 minutes, that looping is no longer productive, but we keep it going anyway. If somebody wakes up in the middle of the night, what do they do? <gasps> I'm awake. Oh no, I'm awake. I'm going to be exhausted tomorrow. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, now I've got this big problem. And now they start working on the problems again. Yeah. You have to be able to get in harmony with what's trying to happen. You can shut off that mind of yours. You can get focused on what you're there for, sleep. And the paraliminal guides you into this beautiful state to get the most and the best rest from the sleep that you get. So going to sleep and transitioning into wakefulness are two sessions within Sleep Deeply, Wake Refresh. It's also training you how to use your mind throughout the night if for any reason you happen to have any difficulty. Fabulous. Paraliminal. The next one I want to share with you is something called recover and re-energize. Super good. If you ever work out, if you've ever had a strenuous day, physical event, what tends to happen? The body tends to build up with lactic acid. It has a tendency to be sore the next day, well, it, this will shift that immediately. This recover and re-energize paraliminal is designed to give your body that, that um, motion of fluids within it necessary to heal the joints. It's called synovial fluids, to bathe the body in the nutrients that are necessary that are trying to get to the cells to be able to help the cells expel whatever toxins are there 
so that what you get to do is feel more refreshed, receive the benefits of the workout without a, any of the detriments. Great way to be in touch with yourself, especially if you already are living a very physically active life. Next one I wanna share with you is perfect health. Now this one was designed based on the concepts of a work called Super Immunity by Paul Pearsall. And what it says is it's from time to time our organ systems, our physical body will have problems where areas will show up as hot spots or cold spots, two very different types of energy. So what this allows you to do is actually scan your body and find those spots, any cold spots, you warm them up to cool. Any hot spots, you cool them down to warm. And what that allows your body to do, instead of trying to control everything, it allows your body to send the signals to those areas necessary for full healing and recovery to take place. Now we've had people give us stories back about the use of perfect health. There was this one fellow who had two children, um, a five-year-old and a two-year-old, the five-year-old had a friend over all day long, about four o'clock in the afternoon, he started describing that he wasn't feeling very well, started to spike a bit of a fever. When the dad came home about five o'clock, took his temperature as 100.9. So to help the child cool down, gave him a cool bath, got him to bed, he went into seizures. It's called an ephemeral seizure. It's not a long-term issue, but he started seizing as a result of the fever. Turns out, fast forward, he, he, it was okay. Even though he had Tylenol in him, the seizures took place. About a week later, they discovered that it was strep. Not only did the five-year-old have it, two-year-old had it as well. Immediately, he and his wife start listening to the perfect health. Now, he actually said, I listened to it twice a day. I listened to it in the morning and the evening. No illness hit him. And what he says is anytime he does feel a little bit of a cold or a sniffle coming on, immediately reaches for the perfect health, puts his immune system back on track to take care of it. How does it happen for most of us? Ooh, we feel that little tickle on the throat. Oh, I got a sniffle. What's the first thing we start saying? Oh, I've got a cold. I've got a cold. Oh, I know what's going to happen. I know how this is going to progress. First it goes to this and then to this and that. We got the whole trajectory lined up to create exactly what we don't want. How are you going to shift that if not by the use of the power of your own mind? How can your immune system kick in and help if what you're doing is you're busily affirming that there's no hope? So the perfect health is an excellent way to get that super immunity capability on track serving you so that the magnificence of your body can do what it's designed to do for you. Now around this issue of body, I'd also like to talk to you about weight. And we have a paraliminal called ideal weight. Now, it's not just weight loss because if you're too thin, the ideal weight can actually help you make sure that you're maintaining an ideal weight. If you're too heavy, can help you readjust to your ideal weight. And it's really looking at two things. One is your relationship with yourself. For example, stand in front of the mirror. How do you go? Do you go, dang, I look good. Woo, awesome. Or do you go, ooh, you really need to lose weight. And whose voice are you hearing? <laughs> Probably one of your parents, right? So if you have this relationship with your body that's something less than ideal, then this gets you back on track. To have this relationship with your body where you're loving it, you're kind to it, you see the best for you, you believe in yourself, and so on. The second part of this is about your relationship to food. For example, when the holiday season comes, people say, ah, I just know what's going to happen. I always dive into the pie. I just get in the cookies. I get in the candy. And there's nothing I can do about it. But I know it'll pass well. Sure enough, you know, the holidays are over. You put on five, eight pounds, maybe more. But now you've moved your set point. And the next year, a little further. Next year, a little further. And over the years, that set point continues to change. How are you going to shift that? 
I had a client who actually lost 95 pounds. First couple of sessions I had with her on an individual basis, she didn't lose anything. I asked her, well, how are you eating? Oh man, practically nothing. A couple of celery sticks at lunch, you know, a little cottage cheese. <laughs> people say don't ever eat, eat cottage cheese because only heavy people eat cottage cheese. But the idea was nothing was really working for her for years and years and years. And what I discovered is that she had a resentment about her relationship with her husband she had divorced 10 years earlier. Now, just like the session that I do, created for Ideal Weight, I did that session for her on an individual basis. This was before I designed Ideal Weight. And that peace, that sense of transition, that loving of herself, in spite of the history of negatives from her parents, from her husband, she got in touch with herself. She lost 95 pounds. I stayed in touch with her for years. Fat is never came back. Another woman lost 60 pounds. I came over to her, the, this couple had taken one of my programs. She lost 60 pounds. I asked, my goodness, you look incredible. What did you do? She said, well, I just followed your advice. And when it came to my relationship with food, I'd eat only as much as would satisfy my nutritional requirements. And so I'd take a few bites, I get, I'm satisfied. She'd push the food away without anything else, without any dieting or anything else. She lost 60 pounds. It's tremendous when you really get your relationship with yourself and your relationship with food straightened out, your ideal weight is what your body wants to be at. It doesn't need all the rest of it. Your body naturally will go to what's ideal for it. It's got perfect integrity. You need to get in harmony with that. I'd like to talk about the idea of habits. Now, I mentioned the use of substances, although I talked about caffeine a minute ago, but the idea of smoking, for example. A lot of people have found that smoking was really tough. Well, I was a quit smoke facilitator years ago. I did a lot of work with people who had a, a cigarette habit. Somebody once said, uh, you probably heard the quote, oh, quitting smoking is easy. I've done it thousands of times. Well, the idea is to be able to stay quit. Why is it so tough? Some people say, well, it's because of the chemicals, and there are chemical effects. But I'll tell you, that's really not it. The biggest reason that you can't quit smoking is very often the same reason that you can't quit anything. Let me say this again. You can't ever really quit any habit. Why? Because by the law of reinforcement, if you focus on the habit, you're reinforcing the habit. And so every time your thoughts go towards it, what are you doing? You're picturing it, you're reinforcing it, your body chemistry starts to align with it, and sure enough, you're back in the habit pretty quickly. So what's the alternative? You have to start a new habit. So it's not about quitting an old one, it's about starting a new one. Well, starting what? Well, starting the benefits of living free from cigarettes. So the smoke-free paraliminal is really about identifying what will it be like to walk up a set of stairs? What will it be like to actually have a choice about being in your car and having it smell nice, about being around other people and being able to interact with them and have a good time? Cigarettes don't have to be a part of it. Very cool. So you start focusing your mind on what it is you're choosing to create. That's side A. Side B is the day that you choose to let it go, you start listening to side B and you let it go. Now, we've had people have a habit of 20 years with a pack or two a day be able to quit clean and free. A lot of people I met in the years that I was working with folks to quit smoking said, I don't quit smoking because I'm going to gain weight. I've always gained weight. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> of course, because smoking, while you think it's relaxing, it's actually a stimulant. Nicotine's a stimulant, so it's stimulating your thyroid. It's upping your metabolism, so if you suddenly let that go, 
your metabolism, if you didn't change your eating, your metabolism is going to go down, which means it's natural that five to eight pounds would show up. Just if you continue eating the way you had all, always eaten. But what happens at this moment, even if you're not a smoker, I really need you to hear why this is important to understand. What happens is as soon as a person sees the first five pounds coming on, what do you think they say in their mind? They've quit smoking, step on the scale one day, five more pounds than they were before. Oh, here it comes. I knew it. I'm going to start putting on weight. And guess what? They start eating commensurate with that program that they're running. What I found using Smoke Free, most people lose. 10 to 20 pounds of unwanted excess weight. Phenomenal shift because you're using your mind in a way that's going to assist you. Now, we also came out with another paraliminal called Break the Habit. So it's a habit for anything else that you don't want. Obviously, smoke free is for the cigarette habit. How about any other? If it's not smoking, what is it? For you, it might be. Drugs, it might be alcohol, you know, yeah, I know. One is plenty, two isn't enough, three is too many, and I go to three way too often. So what do I do? You know, what can I do? How can I break that habit, be satisfied with one beverage when I'm out, when I'm having fun, whatever it might be? Perfect. If it's drugs, if it's alcohol, if it's a behavior that you have that you don't like, some annoying behavior that you don't want other people to know about, you need to get out of it. How do you get out of it? Remember, you can't break a habit. You can only establish a new one. So once you've decided that you would like to live free of that, the break the habit paraliminal will allow you to do exactly that. It's an intervention in a way personal, private, and intervention that interrupts the pattern so that you can have a choice to do what you want instead. And look, that's what today has been all about. Doesn't matter what your history is. Doesn't matter where you've come from up until now. It's about today. It's where you are right now. That history carried forward is more of the same. Let's interrupt that pattern. Let's put in there the choice that you want to make for the outcome that you truly desire. How about an exercise? Shall we do one real quick? So if you're going to commit to be responsible for the results that you're getting in terms of your body, it's essential that you choose health. So I invite you to say, I'm going to be responsible for this aspect of my life. I'm no longer going to be a victim about it. I'm going to, I might not know how to do it yet, but I'm going to choose health in this area. So what is it for you? You know, is it around a habit, a behavior? Is it around the way you sleep? Is it your energy level? Uh, is it your weight? Is it some aspect of your health, choose now to choose health. Choose a goal for health or energy that you truly desire. Now, when you choose a goal, it's essential that the goal is something that's well-formed. And I want to show you a chart right now that is about the conditions of a well-formed goal. When you establish a goal, there should be five components to it. The first is that when you write it down, it's stated in positive terms. So you say what it is I want. I'm choosing to live at my ideal weight between 163 and 165 pounds. That's my goal. I state it in positive terms. I don't say I'm tired of being overweight. I don't want to be at 180 pounds anymore. This is really bothering me. I got to get rid of this belly fat, right? No, 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 no. That's focusing on what you don't want. Focus on what you want. State it in positive terms. Secondly, it's 
got to be within your control to achieve it. If you know that what you want is more joy or more happiness in your life, you can't say, I want to make everyone in my family happier because somebody else's emotional state aren't your own. I'm gonna make my mother happy by getting to my ideal weight. Ah, no. <laughs> Again, it's not within your control to change anyone else, just yourself. So it's gotta be something that you actually have a say in. Number three, it preserves what you currently value most. In other words, when you make this change, for example, I'm going to exercise. I'm going to exercise five times a week. I'm going to go to the club five times a week. Well, just a moment. Do you enjoy going out with your friends occasionally? All right. So if you're always at the club, is that going to preserve what you value in terms of using your time for other things? Would it be okay to do three times at the club or two times at the club? Do you get what I'm saying? So it's got to preserve, your goal has to preserve your present positives, the things that you value. Nextly, state it in the present tense. I am now enjoying my ideal weight of 163 to 165. Now, when you make that, when you make that statement in the present tense, it allows it to occur as opposed to saying, someday I'm going to get to my ideal weight of 140 pounds. Right. Your mind says, okay, someday you will. Not now, not for the next 20 years, but someday. No, you want it stated in the present tense that this is now, I'm now eating in a way that allows me to get to my ideal weight and enjoy my body at. So it's stated, now these things are happening. And finally, a goal in order to be well formed needs to be measurable and testable. If you just state it as a condition, I want to be healthy. Mm, no. Okay, I'm going to be healthy by uh, the end of the week. Well, what are the measures that are going to let you know that you're healthy? And it's interesting that on the scale of wellness, the absence of illness is what most people think is health. That's like from zero to minus 10. So you're not at minus 10 or anything else. You're at zero. That's health. It's the absence of illness, but health is from zero to plus 10. Think about wellness as a measurement that you can identify, okay? So let's take a moment to do a little visualization exercise, a future visualization. You know what your goal is for your super body. So now the question is, what new behaviors are you going to develop that would allow you to enjoy that future. So we're going to go to the future and look back and see those behaviors that helped you get there. You all set? Okay, let's have your hands resting on your lap. Take a deep breath in, exhale, close your eyes. Bring your awareness of yourself to the space your body is occupying. Just be aware of yourself from head to toe toe to head. As you relax your shoulders, your breathing shifts from the muscles of your shoulders and upper chest down more into your chest and abdomen where your diaphragm breathes you. Good. And relax the muscles of your face, especially your forehead, that frontalis muscle. As that smooths out, it sends a signal to your whole body. Just relax. Be relaxed and aware. Relaxing around your eyes, cheeks, and jaw. Good. And now 
Become aware of the touch of the breath in your nostrils. And when you do that, you really do come into the present moment in time, right here and now. And as you allow that breath to flow in a smooth, uninterrupted flow, continuous cycle, you can feel the balance coming to it where the exhale and inhale are of a similar duration. Beautiful. Throughout our day together, you've learned how to do this in a minute and a half. Doing great. Now, in your mind's eye, I invite you to think about what is the ideal future for your physical well-being? Not just the absence of illness, but really a high level of wellness. In what area of your life do you feel that you're ready to call in a greater level of well-being? and invite you to go to a future time in which you have realized that end result. When I set a weight goal, I set a 90-day challenge for myself. So I thought three months from now, I would be at this ideal weight and eating in a way that would nourish me for physical wellness and energy for all the rest of my life that I know now that I'm beyond 60 years old, that I can have this well-being lifestyle all the way to my very last days of my life. I feel great, have the energy and nutrition I need, and that my body would be healthy and well. What is it for you? Visualize that end success However long it takes you to be there, doesn't matter. If it's three days or three years, doesn't matter to me. But imagine going to that place, that time, when you have recognized you've accomplished it. So the measures, the tests that you made, you've gotten there. Sometimes we'll have it as numbers from the medical clinic, like my blood work would come back and I'd see these numbers on it or my body mass index or my cardio reading would show this or whatever it might be. Imagine you've accomplished it, you're there. And feel what it feels like to be in your body and having achieved this level of wellness, how good you feel. The way you breathe, the way you walk, the way you interact with others. Feel that deep sense of happiness and gratitude, that sense of contentment that's within you. It's a feeling of peace. It's a sense of joy. You really do feel good. And you can see the response of others around you that you care for and that care for you. You can see their response to you. It's very positive. They're very excited for you. And now look back over your life's timeline through the time that it took you to achieve this and notice some of the really positive changes that took place where your perfect health emerged, your ideal weight, your full level of wellness, your immune system working for you, your organ systems healthy, what were the behaviors you engaged in that allowed you to achieve this? Notice one or two or three significant positive changes that you made. And notice what a fabulous reward these changes created for you. Beautiful.
Beautiful. And once again, come back over your timeline, back to this present moment in time, to this surface that you're resting on, this awareness of yourself from head to toe. You have a snap, snapshot of that future. You can see the behaviors that will help you get there. You see the possibility, you see the opportunity. You feel alert, refreshed, revitalized at a rate that's right for you. Gently open your eyes. Come back feeling really good. All right. So let's take a moment to really look at this idea of the future visualization. We've done several of these so far, and I want to just make sure that we're clear about exactly the details on how this works. We've got a past, we've got a present, and we've got a future, right? So what we're doing is we're leaving the past, coming into the present, and we're living into a future accomplishment that we would really like to have. And then we look back over that timeline, we can see the changes that occurred to get us here. So then we can take that learning and bring it back into our present awareness. So that as we are living in this present moment, we're living with the full access to all of those resources that we need to accomplish what it is we truly desire. Is that making sense? Now, we've talked about building habits, right? So there's some cue that allows us to say, okay, now's the time where I'm going to engage in those behaviors, right? Doesn't matter what's happened in the past so far. Here's the cue. This is the time where I'm going to engage in these behaviors to get to that reward that I really desire. So I can live into my present at every decision point that I face. Automatically, my mind can serve me and bring me to that greater awareness. Those choices, those resources that will help me get where I want to go. And we want to make this effortless. We don't want to have to say, Oh yeah, I got to remember to think about this. If you're using paraliminal technology, the power of your non-conscious mind is coming forward to assist you in getting you where you want to go. So it comes from within. That shift occurs spontaneously and automatically in all of the circumstances and situations in which you find yourself. You don't have to think about it. It cues up for you. It's very cool the way this works. Now, you should be seeing by now how specific paraliminals can make it easy for you around this idea of living with a super body on an ongoing basis. Health issue? Energy issue? Bad habit? Hopefully you get there is a paraliminal that can assist you in making a shift to what's important to you. What's essential is your commitment to a new set of behaviors. There's a paraliminal to help you with whatever it is you need. Good work so far. You really are learning a lot. Excellent job. Before we go to Pete to see what is coming up next for you, we're going to be starting our next session, which is the second segment in this last part of our program. This is about super emotions. And I'll tell you, this one really puts you in charge of your life because, hey, we're feeling beings. And when our emotions are in charge, we are out of control. So it's really about discovering how to master your emotions. It's going to be fabulous for you. But before we go there, Wendy. Not a single question. We're ready to move on. <laughs> Not a question? No. <laughs> I love responding to questions. Well, we'll see you in just a few moments. Pizza next. <laughs>